the Marvel upcoming trailer. Okay, so I I know from what I understand that has um, that has like clips from Daredevil. I've actually seen the Daredevil trailer. Um, And it looks dope. From what I understand, that's not all in this, but I can at least check some of it out. I wish they had, yeah, that would have been cool. Let's see. Do, 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 do. At least we can kind of look to see what, uh, what, uh, <clears throat> If there's any new information in here of like upcoming stuff. Obviously, we know Blade's not gonna be in this. <laughs> that movie's never gonna get made. I'm almost positive. If it does, it'll be a miracle, but I don't I don't know if we're ever gonna see a, a new Blade movie. They'll probably just have just bring uh Wesley Snipes back for different variant type stuff. They they claim there there's there's a new script and it's gonna be, you know, on point, but I don't believe them at this point. So we'll see. Uh, let's see. I'm got. It's gonna be a lot of pausing through this. Okay, so just just so you know. All right. Only ever gonna be one blade. That's right. <laughs> only ever been one blade. Only ever gonna be one blade. Literally, when he said that, I was like, uh oh. <laughs> I think he's telling the truth. Um. Barracuda. Well, he's already. I mean, he's already been a. a DC villain. He was Black Manta and uh, Yaya Abdul Mateen. He was Black Manta in the Aquaman movies. Now he's Wonder Man over here, which is kind of cool. Um, the mouse's ability to come with the band hammer. Yeah, you tell me. All right, let's see. I brought you here to offer you an opportunity. Oh, I smell what you're stepping <laughs> in. It's gonna get good. Wait a minute. All right, so we got a lot just just in this these scenes right away. I mean, you got Deadpool and Wolverine down here. You got Wilson Fisk over in the right, bottom right. You got Riri Williams as Ironheart here. I wonder how many suits she's going to have in the show. You got Spider-Man here. I think this is, I think, is the Wakanda show they're, that they're doing, I think. There's Wonder Man there. Is this White Tiger in Daredevil? I don't know what's happening here. I don't know what, who, what this is about. Um, no, I, that looks like um, the dude who played Olaf. Or is it Olaf? Whoever that little snowman thing was in uh, in Frozen. That it looks like that's who it is. At first I thought it was maybe it was Bruce Banner, but it doesn't look like Bruce Banner. The face looks even bigger than normal. And I don't know what's happening here. Daredevil in the middle. But that, just automatically, it's like, boom. We're about to show you a lot. <laughs> But no, that's, I don't believe that's Jonah Hill. I don't believe. Who knows? Maybe we'll show back up. We'll see. Okay, good. <clears throat> oh my God. So much. Wait, who is he? <laughs> He's a dude who played uh, Han Solo in the Solo movie. What, mo what, what show is he in? Okay, that's cool. Wonder Man. Oh, wait, is he, oh, is he in, uh, he's in Ironheart? Is that him? This looks like the same dude here. Interesting. I wonder how, how I'm going to feel about the animation for the Spider-Man show. That's, that's one. Yeah, they're doing a Spider-Man cartoon, but it's not in the MCU. It's like a different universe, Spider-Man, apparently. Last I heard. So it's not our in-universe Spider-Man. I don't even know who this is. <laughs> okay, and then that's... This is the villain for Ironheart. So there's that. Marvel Comics did a short run of Transformers. I'd love a film crossover. Oh, that'd be kind of crazy. I remember hearing about that, but I, I that's never going to happen. <laughs> never. Because who still owns... Is it... Paramount, no, it's Universal that still owns Hulk, the Hulk rights. I thought Paramount had somebody, but maybe they don't. I might be thinking of something else. Daredevil born again. It's been some time, hasn't it? You've 
I'm Everybody's back. I could say the same about you. I was, I'll be straight up. Why? Why did it take them so long to just bring everything from the Netflix show over to Disney Plus? Look, when they first started, none of this was like the way it is. It was still gonna be like a little bit darker than what we saw in She-Hulk, but it was very different. And now it's like you just you you did what you should have done from the beginning, copy and paste. <laughs> I wonder if your darker half would agree. Apparently we're going to get some, we'll actually get some uh, Daredevil swinging, which we kind of see here a little bit. So that I'm actually looking forward to. Because he didn't fully do it in uh, in She-Hulk. Not fully, like, you know, it was more just the acrobatics, which was really cool. But in this one, apparently we're supposed to get like him actually swinging, which I think is going to be pretty dope. So that I'm looking forward to. <laughs> Yo. What kind of a lawyer are you? Damn. Is that a? Why am I forgetting who this is? When I first saw this, I was like, "Is this? Is this a Kamala Khan's dad?" I was like, "No, that's that's somebody else, right?" I can't remember. I cannot remember. X Men versus the Avengers with feed families. <laughs> How is Wilson's lady alive? I thought she was poisoned in season one on Netflix. I can't remember. I remember none of it. That is her dad? Okay. See, I was wondering. I was like, hold on. He looks familiar. How is that connection going to come to play? Are they in? They're in New York, right? Or I thought they were in. Why do I feel like they were in San Francisco or something? They're in New, they're in New York. They are. No, no, no. Uh, Ms. Marvel. Kam oh. Kam Kamala Khan. They are in New York, I believe. The other guy in the blue costume is Bullseye. That's right. He does come back. I actually didn't finish that season completely the season i had daredevil which i'm sorry Bull, bullseye which i think was season three right on netflix i believe but yeah i'm not sure i thought she did die or something happened but i don't remember being season one i thought it was later but yeah they better not screw it up like echo i swear echo was a travesty <laughs> Damn, really good one your friendly neighborhood spider-man that's what this one's called. See, look, look at, look at the, it almost looks like a combination of the animation they use for the what if series, but a little bit cleaner and more, not as CGI esque, but some of the movement here feels like they're still doing a little bit of 3d or, or CGI, you know, moments here. It's not fully hand drawn. I could be wrong. That's cool. I'm gonna build something undeniable. Okay, so she's gonna have stuff coming to her like Tony did at one point. Wait, how did it? It's almost like it made another foot. So her foot goes in that top one and then goes over into the bottom one. Kind of how you see the, her left foot a little bit. Oh, that's kind of cool. So it was like giving her additional height and then the arm. Like her hands not actually going in that glove. Oh, that's cool. See, that's cool that we're actually seeing more of like how it's put together, which I don't think, I mean, in Iron Man, it was like he was completely in that suit. In this case, like she needs the height, she needs the reach. And they're showing that. That's pretty sweet. I like that. I'm not excited for this show because I don't like the character uh, when, she, when she was in Black Panther too. Um, so uh, there's that part. But I, I do think could they redeem her with the show? Maybe. And I'll watch it, of course, but. Undeniable. Anyone who's ever accomplished anything iconic in life has had to do some questionable things to get it done. So wait, where, where was that? Where is this? Is this in like a, is in like some kind of warehouse thing or is this a tunnel? Like, what is that about? And who's in the, somebody in the car that we should know? I don't know. Maybe not. I'm probably overthinking it. Hmm. What if season three, this is the final season of what if a show where anything can happen. They're only doing three seasons. <laughs> you have a plethora of characters you could use and any type of scenario you want to use. You're doing three seasons. That's it. 
I haven't even finished season two, so I, I gotta still do that. But I don't really jive too much with the animation style, but the stories so far have been good. They made a season four. You sure? Last I checked, season three, this was it. They should keep going. There's really no reason to stop. Like, why? Unless it's just not getting enough viewership. Then I get it. Spider-Man swinging from Kyle Utters hit differently in Wisconsin. <laughs> oh, God. that's <laughs> Everyone's always in New York. Yeah. That's kind of the way it goes. It's either New York or you're in, like, California. It's almost always New York. <clears throat> oh, what if they made a season four? <laughs> <laughs> They should. They should. I want to see Black Panther 3 set in Compton. I thought he was going to, I thought originally Riri was going to be, because I don't think this is what happened, right? I thought she was going to be like a product of the school that Black Panther started after at the, at the end of uh, the first Black Panther when they were going to open that school. I thought she was going to be a product of that, which I don't think that's the route they went, if I'm remembering. There's a lot about Black Panther 2 I just I choose to forget, but... I thought they were going to kind of somehow bring that into the mix. Like, oh, she actually went to his school and she's super smart. She's making her own Iron Man armor, all that kind of stuff. Nope. Is Ironheart female Iron Man? I don't know much about the character. Essentially, yeah. Yeah, essentially. That's literally what it is. <laughs> but I thought I thought she was almost kind of like a, a fanboy, similar to how Kamala Khan is with Miss, with uh, with Captain Marvel. I thought it was kind of like that, but maybe they wanted to differentiate the characters and not have them necessarily be the same. I have like the first two issues of Ironheart's run. I still haven't read them yet. Um, so I still need, there's like, I haven't even opened them. They're still on their plastic. So I, I kind of want to do it, but I don't know. That was my uh, thought. For an adventure. Is that Shang-Chi? Uh, for an adventure. Maybe. We've seen nothing of that. My God. And Shang-Chi was like one of the best things about phase four. Sure. That was phase four, right? The battle That's cool. Sing of Finally. I was hoping this was coming out this year. Is it? Maybe it's next year. For ages. There we go, Wonder Man. You can slate whenever you're ready. Simon Williams, reading for Wonder Man. I was born the greatest weird. character. <laughs> They always find a way to bring him back. Uh, what was his name? Trevor? Something Trevor, wasn't it? Uh, Iron Man 3, Shang-Chi. Now he's showing up here. It's like they've got all these different moments where he comes back. And this makes sense yeah. for him to come back. Like, I, I'll, I'll give them that. But... <laughs> I think his for his character to, to be such a small like role in the film... Yeah. He's got a big presence. Literally. He's hilarious. You know, he nails his lines. Every time. Yeah. It's like how Adam Sandler always brings back his guys. Oh, every, yeah. Um, yeah. He's always going to work with the same people. You're going to see a lot of familiar faces yeah. in all his movies. This one almost kind of similar. But I don't know. It's, it's kind of crazy that. They they found these nice sweet spots to to bring. It doesn't. It's not a situation where it doesn't necessarily makes like not make sense. Like him being in Shang Chi made sense because of everything that happened in Iron Man three. So you bring him back in this sense, and it's like oh, okay, he's with the the tenuring you know organization. Now in this case, it's like oh yeah, no, he is an actor. Clearly, this is going to be set before he did all that stuff in Iron Man three. Like yeah, so. I wonder if we'll see like how he got involved with that or like who approached him for that. Maybe we'll get like a cameo from from the Shang Chi movie of a different character that gets him involved or something. I don't know. That's kind of cool. Just to kind of see again, it's immersing you in the connectedness of all the stories and stuff. So like that part's kind of cool. It's, it's still funny to see him though. <laughs> they both have a lot of writing on this. You better not mess this up. I know. Okay, so that, oh, Eyes of Wakanda, there we go. Okay, yeah, so this is it. It's still funny, though, to see how it didn't... <laughs> I'm I'm just wondering, like, what's what's the story going to be? This is a character that I'm not really aware of. As far as, like, Wonder Man 1, in the comics, he's white. Um, 
So there, there's the the race change there, which you know whatever. But I don't know how he gets his powers. I don't know how he becomes a superhero. I just know he's an actor and he's trying to get on a show and stuff like that. Like that's the gist. I, other than that, this one will be brand new for me. I mean, that's kind of the nature of Disney these days, right? Yeah. Giving characters a new look, a multicultural, you know, yeah. you know, trying to give everybody a chance to be who a superhero. True. Of sorts. Um, so I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised by that at all. That is true. Wait, and he used to be a woman. Wonder Man used to be a woman, or you think of Wonder Woman? <laughs> Hold on. Please, please elaborate. Uh, uh, Steve says yeah. that I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna. Wait, you're gonna fight? Him. I'm not. Well, I, I agree to this. <laughs> she agreed to this. See, you're trying to get me in trouble. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, so that's that's what you. It's a play on words. I, I'll say this: like most times, I don't. I think I've talked about this before. I normally don't care for like race swaps or gender swaps in certain scenarios. Um, I think where it works, one like one spot where it works very well is the boys. I don't think you watch a lot of that with me. You might watch season one. The boys was a bit too much for me. It was a little bit, so a little bit too much for you. Yeah. But a lot there's a lot of characters in that one that are actually guys in the comics and they're they're mm-hmm. played by women in the show. But it's done so well. You don't. I didn't even know. And then I saw later. I was like, oh, she was like, it doesn't even matter. Like. Yeah. So there's certain moments where it's like, no, it doesn't matter. It's fine. Um, then there are some moments where it's like, I don't know if I'd say it's maybe it is pandering in, in a sense, but because you're trying to get different demographics to come watch your stuff. And you're like, yeah. oh, if we don't make this character a certain color, then we're, we're going to lose this demographic. Um, but I, I'm glad in this scenario, hey, they, they made the main character black. They didn't just make the villain black. Like, that's where you saw it a lot. Oh. If if they were changing the race of a character, it was the villain. Whoever the bad guy was, they make him black or they make him Asian or her, whatever the case. Um, you didn't see a whole lot happening with the main hero. Um, and so, again, I think in this scenario, it, it's fine because there's nothing, at least, uh, again, limited knowledge I have on Wonder Man. There's not a whole lot where, like, the race plays a factor. But, like... There's certain characters where it's like, no, they have to be the race they are from the comics because right. of the time frame Cultural, or whatever. Cultural. Time. Yeah. yeah it just makes sense. Yeah. Um, in order to be historically ac- historically accurate. Now, right. Here's the thing. I'm going to take your word for all this because <laughs> I don't know anything about this. <laughs> I don't know anything about this character. I have no idea. So I, I'm trusting you, Mr. Vaughn. Look, I haven't given any concrete information. I don't even know what their powers are. That's that's the thing. I don't. I just know they're a superhero. They were an actor. Somehow they they acquire superpowers, but I don't. Okay. I don't even know how it happens. I am blindly trusting you. Hey, again, I gave no concrete info. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> so nothing. He's super strong. Is that it? Okay. He's super strong. Hey, I'll take it. Th- that feels. I don't know. What does Wonder Man even do? Think. Thank you. <laughs> Wonder. Wonder. Rogue gets her strength. Oh, is that? Oh, so maybe they're setting things up. I know, I know there's a whole thing with Captain Marvel, with Captain Marvel with Rogue, and that's so I'm like, uh, I'm gonna assume this guy because is it Captain Marvel with that's how she got her flight powers, and then it's Wonder Man how she got her, her strength. Hopefully, they're setting things up to where they're actually gonna do comic accurate like Rogue for the X Men. That I would love, even though I thought at one point she was a bad guy and then. She turns good. I can't remember, but I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. Hello. I am ready. Eyes of Wakanda. That was short. Good lord, blinking your miss. I know. I am ready. This almost looks like like normal Disney animation, kind of, but like a more mature version of it. It looks different, a little bit different from the what if style of uh of uh of animation. But this looks like it looks cleaner. I don't know. There's not much I can compare it to really. I like it though. Ready. But it's super quick. <laughs> I'm gonna assume this is Wakanda like you know, hundreds of years ago, or at least, you know, many, 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 many decades ago. Just based on the ships and all that kind of stuff. So this is this is happening much earlier than like our timeline, Wakanda, it looks like. 
Got flight from Miss Marvel along with super strength. Okay, so both. Okay. Do I think Gambit will have a larger role in the future projects? I don't think so. Um, I mean, in whatever whatever full cast they do for the live action X Men, maybe, maybe it's it won't be Channing Tatum. I doubt it. I think he'll always be kind of like a, a variant of Gambit, but I don't know if they'll bring him in to actually do the Gambit role. I feel like they're gonna probably go a little younger for some of those characters. She just usually normally only uses Wonder Man's strength, but can pull from Miss Marvel's that she also got. Ah, okay. <laughs> Movies don't care about Gambit. That's kind of that's the kind of the way I see it. Kind of the way I see it. They tease it and delete a scene, but I guess it was deleted for a reason. Apparently it was in um it went in the, the end credit scene when um Deadpool's sh- like changing the timeline so that uh, Johnny Storm did say all those things about uh, what was her name, Cassandra Nova, Nova, right? Cassandra Nova. Um, you apparently it's on the screen at some point. The 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 clip with Gambit, you know, seeing a ring and leaving or whatever. So they did have it in that scene, even though it wasn't the full deleted scene like we like we got online. So it's out there. Who knows? But I don't think it's going to go anywhere. I, I doubt it. They kind of left the door open to do it, but I, I I'd be surprised if they do. Again, for this Eyes of Wakanda, super quick, <laughs> super quick. They're clearly still working on this, but we get—we literally just got two very quick shots of the show. Obviously, this will be on Disney Plus soon. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> a long road ahead of us. Much to do. That's going to be so cool. Oh my, God. oh, my God. That was so fast. Jeez. Okay, chill. So November 12th. Okay, so on what? What what day is it? The 5th? So seven days. We got that on Disney Plus. And December? Oh, 22nd. Okay. Season three of What If. So I need to watch season, all of season two. Oh my God. Is that close? Huh? On What If? Yeah. No. No. I watched, I watched episode one of season two. You got to stop starting things and then abandoning them. Sometimes with animation, that's, that's, that's definitely how I go. But uh, yeah, I watched... No, I watched two episodes. I watched two episodes and I never went back to it. <laughs> God, it's going so fast. Okay, so January 29th will be your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Again, that's the animation. It's not too long in, into the new year. We'll have that. Daredevil Born again, March 4th. That's the one I'm looking forward to. That's probably the one that I'm most hype about. Ironheart, June 24th. Okay. This is, again, this is already three shows in 2025. And Eyes of Wakanda, August 6th. Jeez, okay. So that's that's four. Marvel Zombies, October. Perfect month for that. Okay, so that's five. And Wonder Man, December. Is that six shows in 2025? Didn't they say they were trying to, like, scale back? Wasn't that? Didn't they say that at one point? We're going to scale back a little bit. One. Oh, my God. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Uh, a little insane, <laughs> just a little insane. Six shows, six shows in 2025. I think it's overkill. I think it's overkill. I, I liked it when they were doing like max three for the whole year. This is 2025. They're doing six. I am not bothered by that. Oh, I don't know. I'm not bothered by that. You know why? It's a little much. Some of us need things to watch eventually. Eventually? Then, yeah, just like to like let it pile up and then binge watch later. But I it's, don't have a problem with it. it it's, it's, I and think it bothers me that they give too few options. I think the reason it bothers me is because of how they were talking about scaling back and trying to, to go more quality over quantity. Because when, when it first started, they were like kind of shelling. They were doing multiple movies a year and yeah. multiple TV shows. So you got to think, that's that's six TV shows. You got Captain America Brave New World coming out in February, I believe. And then there's one or two other movies. So you got the six shows and you have still have the movies coming out. It's not like it's just the shows. Yeah. Um, so I, I just don't want them to like go into overdrive and put out too much to where true. you don't care but after a while. This also increases the odds that you're going to get more good things. 
like you're gonna get some hits, more hits, right? But then it's like you're you're throwing a you're throwing a dart, hoping something something hits instead of like, all right, let's get let's make sure the quality stuff is is what we're putting That's out. What they do anyway. <laughs> I don't know. I'm torn between the two. I'm torn. Uh, now some of these shows I'm looking forward to. Again, I think I think Daredevil is gonna be the best best thing that comes out. I think Wonder Man can be could be very good. Uh, Ironheart, I have no expectations for that. I think it's I think it'll be fun, but I'm not like excited for it. Marvel Zombies, I think, will be cool. And that's pretty much it for me. But the the eh, Spider Man, I think, will be cool. But that's again, that's more of an offshoot thing. It's not connected to the sacred timeline MCU situation. So it's like it doesn't really factor into that at all. At all. Unless they change something at some point, and everything is on the sacred timeline. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows what Loki's gonna do or help in some way to make things <laughs> make things work? Um, yeah, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah, it is. It's a lot. 